I'd like to do some training today on a Takeo 555 series power head and zone valve. It's a 24 volt power head, runs on 24 volt AC. It's a three terminal zone valve with a manual lever. The manual lever is right here. It disconnects by twisting the head and pulling off. These tabs fit into, into this body. Inside you'll see a plunger. That's that gold piece in the inside. And you'll see a little, if you look to the right, you'll see a little nylon, white nylon pin. And that is a end switch. Then also inside where you can't see there is a another switch and I'll explain these switches and their function. To reinstall you line the pins up with the holes and give it a twist and that locks it in. There's a manual lever on the side here. If you push it slowly and it stops about there you can tell that the zone valve is not open because there's a plunger that goes in. This is just a lever, metal lever that pushes on the plunger that manually opens here in the body. So to manually open the zone valve, you can just push it up and pu push it all the way open and it'll open the zone valve manually in case there's a power outage or the zone valve, the head is uh, burnt out. But in normal position, it should be here. Also, on the back side over here on these, if you lift the lever and look, is the date code. That's where you can find the data manufacturer. This is a 24 volt valve. You've got terminal one, terminal two, and terminal three. Typically in our industry, uh, terminal one, which is power coming in, will be red. Terminal two is the common, so it'd be white. And on a three wire, you typically have a green. And that would be the end switch. This particular zone valve is three contact instead of four so it utilizes zone two and zone three for the end switch on a call for heat power comes up from the transformer the 24 volt control pans transformer through the thermostat and comes back and goes to terminal one terminal two goes directly to the other side of the transformer common of the other side of the transformer terminal three goes from here to TNT, one side of TNT on your Aquastat, and the other side of TNT is white. So terminals two and three go directly to TNT or the end switch, wherever you want to, but that's the, that's the signal that would fire the burner or pull in a pump, a pump relay or whatever you want it to do. So terminal two does two things. It's a common to power this, and it's also terminal two and terminal three connects with an end switch inside and that's what connects and goes back and fires your burner. This is referred to as a heat motor. So inside here there's a metal container and it has a heating coil wrapped around it, a copper coil. Inside that there's a plunger that will move back and in and out. That plunger will move and open up the valve that's inside here. The way it works is that on a call for heat, sends 24 volts down to terminal one, terminal two, heats up that heating coil, which melts the wax. It expands the wax and pushes the plunger out and into the valve to open it up. There are two end switches inside here. One of them, when the plunger gets all the way out, it will contact, connect, Terminal 3 and Terminal 2 together, and like I explained before, that goes back to fire your burner or to turn on your pump. There's also another switch inside here that when it's fully open, when the plunger is extended all the way, it shuts the 24 volts off to itself. And the reason for that is because it is a heater, if it was stayed and it was powered all the time, it would burn up. So what it does is it throttles itself wide open Okay, just back and forth, and the plunger will actually move in and out a little bit. So
so it will shut the power on and off, on and off to itself. If you would put an amp probe on the thermostat upstairs and have this call, you would see the power would come off for a couple seconds and off, on and off. And that is normal because it's that switch is turning on and off the power to itself. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was useful for you.